Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series or mini-series on Guild of Dungeoneering Ultimate Edition. This is the upcoming new remastered-ish version of Guild of Dungeoneering, which we did the one-off video on and I absolutely adored it. We, we played a lot of games recently that I've really liked, but they're all demos. This one is not. So we are going to be going in to check out this a little bit further. We're going to be starting from the ground up. God, the music is so good, though. I'll listen to that. Yes. All right. We're going to pop in. There's going to be a, a little bit of overlap from what we uh, saw this before. Is the guild of dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a dungeoneer, chasing fame and glory. But we're going to go through it again very, very briefly here, and we'll uh, explain what the heck is going on here. It's a, the best probably described as, a, it's a roguelike dungeon building card battler it is probably the best description I've heard from them about what this truly is, because it's kind of like a roguelike deck builder, kind of like a uh, party management or like a guild management kind of game. There's just a lot of elements to this that I truly, truly like resonate with me very directly. Uh, kind of got the thing where you put in your hero, you build the dungeon around them, and you need to make it tough enough that they uh, get stronger, but not so tough that it kills them. And you have your group of characters that all can die permanently, and you send them out, you try and make them stronger. That's kind of the gist that we've got going on here. So, the uh, without further ado, we'll read this quick here. Uh, the Ivory League of Explorers, the noblest and most virtuous guild in the land. Those insufferable jerks. I'll show them they won't think me so grossly incompetent when I have my own guild. I've bought a small hall in the bad part of town with the gold I've borrowed from them. I've staked out in a dungeon that's ripe for the picking. I've even found a chump who can do all the dirty work while I sit back and watch the coins roll in. Like my father always told me, there's always someone stupider than yourself. Well, he never really said it to me. Actually, he said it to everyone but me. Hey, wait a minute. All right. So this is our guild, the Guild of Dungeoneering. It's time to build a barrack so your first Dungeoneer has somewhere to live. So we've got ourselves a little bit of a card here. We can start building out our guild. The one that's always left behind. The solitary lump. The pawn whose fog our father grind. The sorry little chump. So for this series, this will be a, a Patreon name series. That being said, I'm not going to make anyone be the chump but myself. I will uh, I will be the sorry little chump for this here. Uh, the lamb to the slaughter, as they alluded to here. Which, what was the hair I went with? I feel like it was, was it that one? No, I don't. It was actually like a, yeah, this is a surprising amount. Surprising amount of them there. All right, so we are going to be the uh, the chump here. Good old Retromation, good old Rito. But after that, we're, yeah, we're going to be doing the uh, we're going to be using the uh, Patreon name list for the wonderful supporters over there. This is your first Dungeoneer, the Chump. You can grow your guild, gain new Dungeoneers, expand the loot that you find using uh, expand the loot you find in dungeons by using gold. Let's go loot some gold in the dungeon. All right. So we're going to go pop on in. We only have one Dungeoneer to pick from here, so there's no big deal. Do you want to play the tutorial? No. We will be skipping that here. So I'm not going to say that I know the game perfectly, but I played for about an hour-ish. So we briefly know. This is our, uh, our hand that we drew here. We can play up to three cards in a turn. We want to make sure we put down monsters that we want to fight that are of equal difficulty to uh, our level. Maybe, maybe we could take on a level two for level one, but it's going to be kind of spicy. It's going to be kind of spicy. So we'll put a room here. You see, this is where our guy wants to go. Because he wants to get up here to get the treasure, though there is also a level two zombie in the way. So it's a little bit of a concern. So we'll play our second card and we'll play our third card. We're going to put a level one rat in the way. All right, nasty rat. So the combat is actually like quite simple, but the difficulty comes in uh, in drafting out a, a better deck via the equipment that you, you get throughout the dungeons. So he's going to go for Neurotoxin. He's playing his card there. It's going to do one physical damage. We can block the one physical damage because if it's successful, he's going to make me discard a card. So we'll just block it. Sure thing. So now he's going for an unblockable attack. We're going to go for one attack here, obviously. So he can notice here. He goes first. 
Another unblockable attack. I swear there is a better card in this deck. We just are not drawing it right now. What if we died immediately? There we go. Lucky hit. This is this is the thing that's going to change it all. There we go. It's, a, it's not necessarily a very strategic fight at the moment here. But I do assure you that they, they get a little bit more so. All right. So now we get to pick some loot. We have four equipment slots up here. We have a head slot, hand slot, weapon, and a shirt. So... The thing that is really clever about this that I really, really liked is there is deck building, but not in a sense where you really have to micromanage your deck too hard. Your The RPG stats that you get completely determine what cards go in your deck. So you see stupidity plus one, crush plus one, armor plus one. It also gives us the weird situation where some stats are actually bad. So by getting to crush to level one, when your crush is level one, you get bash in your deck. When crush is level two, you get some other more powerful bash related card. At armor plus one, we get repel, which is the three armor there. However, we also get stu stupidity one by using this uh, on our hands. Wait, it's, <laughs> oh, I guess for a shield, I suppose. So it would be a, a dead draw. So that could be a potential problem. Ruffled Shirt gives us Swift 1, which would give us the Shift card, which is an attack that goes before the enemy, and we also would draw a card. Or we can get the Twig, which just gives us Crush 1, which is just straight up no no real downsides. Let's go with the let's go with the Twig for now. So we are now level 2. If you fight a uh, an enemy that is your level or higher, uh, then you will level up. I do want to get this candlestick here. So let's uh Let's put in this room. You may notice right here, this is another thing worth noting. There's a little itty bitty tile right here. A little itty bitty tile right here. If we pick that up, we will gain a special ability that we will uh, explain later. But just know that these things are also things that you will want to go and pick up. Ah. Hello, me, I'm, I'm busy here. So let's put down the candlestick. Let's put down, do we? I'll put down, I'll put down a nasty rat. We all we need to do is defeat this rat man up there, but a level one enemy is worth going for, I think. That I don't know. Okay, so he's going, he's got uh, a two damage attack, and he's also going to be sacrificing one health to do it. The fun thing about this guy is whenever he takes two damage in one turn, he takes an extra damage. So I don't know if I want to waste lucky hit because it's not going to go away. It's not going to go away. I might want to use it, yeah, like right now when he wouldn't be taking two damage otherwise. So you also may notice right here, this is a spell damage. Uh, we would not be able to block it with a physical block. We would need a magic block to do so. So this is going to do three damage because of the K. This right here is just a bad situation. We need to find a, a way to do one more damage than he does. Oh, he's got a physical block. Uh-oh. We'll just block this here. Hopefully, anger. Okay, we, we've done it. We've done it. So we're going to be able to block that and do damage. Good deal. In fact, we would have been able to, to kill one, even if, even if he had one more uh, HP there, which is awesome. Okay. So we already have a weapon. So whatever we would pick here would replace the crush stat. So we would lose... Uh, we would lose the one crush, but we would gain an extra crush because the anchor has crushed two. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to figure out how to explain this. You know, we got the one card from uh, from the twig. We wouldn't lose it because we are still, we are getting more crush stat. At level two crush stat, we gain slam. So it is a direct upgrade if you want this card. It might not be an upgrade if you don't want that card. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of the deck management. Slam. Two physical unblockable damage. I mean, it is nice. Or we could get a little bit of... We could get hook. Gives us slice for two damage. And shift for one quick damage. Glyph, holy one, arcane one. Block and then heal for every block. And then there's one magical damage and draw one. Maybe. I'm kind of vibing with... Uh, Let's go with the... We'll, we'll go with the hook. All right, good deal. We got some treasure there.
Yeah, let's go fight the... Just fight the rat, I guess. We could just go up here. I, I think I'm going to just say... Uh, let's end our turn. Let's just go up, do our tussle. Call it a day there. Neurotoxin. He's going for the attack, and then he gets to make us discard a card if it hits. So let's block it. Don't want that right now. Not now, not ever. All right. I mean, we beat the rat just uh, innately here. Really, really, really easily. Unblockable. It's fine. I'll go with slice. And then we have the attack that is a one damage move that comes out very quickly. Shift. That's part of it. It just gets to go before his move. All right. So we get a level one item. Swift. We could get swift level two, which gives us interrupt. One physical damage quick, and then block two magical. I don't know that that's going to be that big of a deal when we're fighting this Rat King. I don't think he's going to be using anything magical. Let's go with, uh, yeah, we'll go with Rekindle, which is one magic damage and a heal. Sure, we'll add that to our deck. Because he is probably going to have physical block, I would imagine. Burn a chump card. So here's the, the special thing here that I was talking about with the runes. When we picked up one rune, we could use treasure, which lets us draw a treasure card and place it down if we want. At two, we can burn one of our trump cards, so one of our basic cards that aren't as good, we can burn them so we draw better cards. Or there is, of course, redraw, which I would imagine is a straight-up redraw. Let's, uh, let's add treasure to our deck here for now. Add the candlestick to there. So our character is going to want to move towards treasure first and foremost. So we could like have moved it over here to fight a nasty rat or something. But you know what? This is just the first dungeon. It's very, very simple. Very easy. I want to get this one done with and we move on to the next. Angie. Is there anything special about you that I really need to worry about? It doesn't really seem like it. I'll go for this big blast attack while you have definitely no armor. Unblockable. I mean, we're just going to go for big number. And then we've got ourselves to... <laughs> got shift. Goodbye. Absolutely destroyed. Who would have thought the way you fought you'd be so very brave? Now we need somebody else to fill this empty grave. Let's go. God, that music is so nice. All right, so we have 65 bucks. We can now expand out our guild here by uh, putting them into one of these categories. I still don't know what actually what the blessings are. I don't actually know. We'll have to we'll have to figure that out. But we can unlock new classes, which is definitely what I'm going to do for sure. We've got our uh, our other loot over here, which we would we could unlock new equipment that we get in the dungeons, just adding more variety. I don't know if this stuff is necessarily better always, but variety is always good. For now, I'm definitely going to unlock ourselves a, uh, a special new character here. We're gonna build the hidden den to get a cat burglar. Until now, we've all had some fun, and you could say you've come very far, but brace yourself for some woeful cat puns. Now that we have a cat burglar. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Uh, who do we got here? Let's, uh, so we did have social calamity on the old thing already. Let's, uh, I don't know. We'll just, we'll go with generally random. Ah. What's the miscellaneous? Oh. We'll get to good old Justice Tom. Our cat burglar. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the support on Patreon there. So we have our Dungeoneers. We got our second one. Uh, let us go exploring. Back to the, uh, the old dungeon. Go for the Rat Pack. Defeat the Rat King. We could, um... Ah, so there's the blessings. I don't know what exactly that's all about. Uh, like, I'm imagining... Because that's the thing in the middle of the talent trees that we could spend our gold on. I'm imagining it's just some kind of buff that we could get. 
I don't know, maybe gives us better rewards. It could be it could be a nerf to us that also gives us better rewards. Could see that. Squeak. Okay, so he's all the way up there. If I remember, he has a passive. Plus one health for every surrounding minion. So, whatever we do, we need to make sure we kill any minions we put down there. Okay, so this room is... You're... Wait, you're kidding me. Oh, do we have to... Do that... Oops, do this first. We do, okay. That just felt... It, it felt important to me. Alright. Oh no! More clawful nasty rats! So I actually don't know what the cat burglar has. Throw cat! Catnip. Heal. And then plus one attack to the next attack. Okay. Throw throw cat. Wow. What the hell, dude? I uh, I was not expecting that. So we'll go for a heal and then plus one damage on the next damage. It's kind of a kind of a benefit there, I guess. Then we go for the three. Every, is that going to be every single time? Well, I guess it's probably only for the throw cat move. Oh, we have four four options here. Straight jacket. This just gives us one extra health. Nothing else. I mean, that's not, not bad, though. Holy. One any block and then heal per whatever is blocked. Plus one stupidity. What, gain, But you also gain wise and fate charged. So stupidity, of course, is the garbage card. We could draw it, and it is just it has no effect. Plus one starting hand size in battle, and we gain fate charge. One st plus one starting hand size in battle if you have a favor. Favor being the little runes that we picked up. This is a level two item. Wait a minute. Shimmering cloak, arcane one, fire one, mind strike, mode magical damage, and draw one, and fire blast, which is two magical damage. Um. Honestly, we kind of, as a cat burglar, we sort of want to stray towards physical. We can also skip and gain treasure in our hand. We kind of want to stray towards physical because we have that plus one physical attack. There is a uh, heal one and plus one physical attack. Let's gain the straight jacket, I guess, for now. As much as that's kind of uh, maybe a spicy concept. Candlestick. How do we link this up? Let's put another one of them bad boys. Should we send it? So like there, there are different enemies that you can draw that have different penalties like this Rat King where I know that there was the bandit where if you put him in a dead end, he loses health, I think it was, or he gets some kind of penalty. So... Oh my god. We keep on getting throw cat. Meow. Okay, we got the one physical. We'll go for catnip. Okay. I mean, I'll just I'll just keep going. Next attack is gonna be Schnasty. We can go for scratch. It's gonna be immediate and it's gonna get the plus two damage. Let's go. Alright, uh, yeah, Anchor makes a little bit more sense for us. Shift, I could see Shift being good, too. Fork, I could definitely see being good. We already have a shirt, though. Oh, we, we have a shirt, though, so we don't want Ruffled shirt. I'm between Slice and s Crush. Let's go with Crush. Let's go with Crush for now. We also should figure out what our special ability is. Plus one loot choice. Ah, ah, that's, I didn't even, I was like, I was like, why are we getting four choices? That's the cat burglar's passive. So we get an extra loot choice and it is a higher level. Gotcha. This may not be great. We're going to need to kill that one. But if we don't put any other rooms, we have to kill that one before we fight him. So I guess it's not really that big of a concern. Got a bad feline about this. I've got a bad feline about this. I mean, I guess we'll just throw this. Ah, we got... <laughs> Cannot block. Well, we can still heal. 
Cool. Net neutral. And now we have slam. We'll add it to our deck just so we don't hear the row. So we can still get a level 2 item from this because we're the cat burglar, which is very cool. What does this give us? Armor 1 and stupidity and also health. Hmm. I'm going to take this. I'm going to get our treasure so we can help guide ourselves a little bit more properly through the rooms anyways. I mean, we're going to we want to go that way. Want to go that way anyway. We could have put something here and then put treasure there. I think that maybe would have been technically a better idea. That being said, I'm not really too worried. Is this adjacent? In your in your head, is this adjacent? Surrounding? Is this surrounding or is surrounding only in a plus a plus shape? That's the question. I don't know if it's directly or if it includes diagonals. That being said, again, none of it matters. This should be an easy fight here early on. All right, we're fighting a level two, though. Red man. It's unblockable. Oof. I guess I'll do one damage, block one. It's a net gain. Here it is. Three, two, one, row! Get out of here! So, oh, he has the block already. Okay. Bye bye. That was actually a little spicy for a second. You can also use the runes in combat to get different stuff. Uh different than the things you would get outside of combat. Like I saw, I think one of them is draw the first one. What is this? Plus one blade, plus one swift, plus one growth. Instead of crush. I don't know. Probably not. We don't have anything in our hand. Plus one blade, plus one... Sh I was going to say shift. Swift. Bring it on. This weapon was tempting. I, I've not taken any of the, the higher level items yet. We'll think about this. We'll, we'll see what we draw next turn. I guess theoretically we could guarantee that we draw treasure. So what's... Okay, block one any. That's what number, number two is. Sabotage, I'm going to guess, is maybe like... Maybe it's like a stun. A no block move. Are you sure. Yeah, we we've got this pretty pretty darn easily here. Hmm. I guess we are throwing a cat. Wow. <laughs> Out of a god. And scratch for the uh, early kill there. Get wrecked, punk! Alright, we don't have a hat. Popsicle, what's this? Growth 1, stupidity 1, arcane plus 2. What is the level 2 of arcane? Plus 1 magic damage on your next magic attack, and heal and draw. It doesn't seem bad, but it's just not good for us right now. Scoop, Swift and Arcane, <laughs> uh, Club, Crush and Growth. So we would be ditching Slam in order to get one magic damage and one heal. No? No, none of this is worth it. I'll gain the treasure. We'll fight one more Rat Man before we're done here. Get a little bit more treasure and get another shot at a better item. It's unblockable. Not going to try and block it. Headbutt. This we can block, so sure. I 
I mean, let's be honest. It's time. Everybody with me now. Real. Maybe we'll get a uh, level three snowballs. Ranged swift plus one. We get ranged. All physical attacks are quick plus one damage if they were already quick. Whoa. Fate curse cannot spend favor. Um, I'm not too angry about this. Cooking pot, though. We don't have... Oh. Wait, cooking pot. Okay, we take cooking pot so we can get crushed level three. That gives us smash for three physical damage, one block. Also, we do get fire blast, which I don't necessarily want, but obviously the rest of that is is quite, quite, quite worth it. No more treasure waiting for us. We could fight a rat man on our way out. Do I want to? I don't think I need to. Another appalling rat king. Give me crush on the first turn. Nah. Alright, start off strong, baby. Wow. We also do have the block. We have draw. It's the last fight, so let's do a couple draws here. Oh, you fool. Smash, smash. Parry, slam, unblockable. Absolutely wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Good job to Justice Tom. Here's to you, young Dungeoneer. You stood your ground and acted very brave. But how long before you feel the fear? And how long before you're in your grave? <laughs> so, we, uh, Justice Tom unlocked a victory trait for winning there. Now, one of his cards, his dungeon cards drawn, is always going to be a treasure, which is quite nice. We also unlocked three new uh, dungeons that we can go out to. We unlocked the Rat King's Tale, which I think is just a trophy in our trophy room we'll, we'll showcase here. Drag it out over here. As far as I know, that's all it is. I could be wrong. Got 80 bucks to expand out our dungeon a little bit here. What shall we do? Let's get, um, let's unlock some new items first here. Unlock some new items. Where do we want to put the blacksmith? So there we go. All of these cards are now available to be drawn as loot options, which is quite fun. We shall go explore. We've unlocked three new locales. What's this? Saying. There's more, a whole world to explore. Why there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point you're all hit and miss? It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. Uh, if I never hear another story about cleaning out rats, it won't be too soon. My minion I employees did return with some interesting rumors from the Rat King, though. There's mention of a magic orb. The orb of nosiness is exactly the kind of thing I could use to keep an eye on the Ivory League. I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to take them down a peg. The rumors point to more dungeons out in the grasslands. I'll search there first. Ha! What am I saying? I'm not stepping foot in that place. That's what I have the chumps for. And if they don't want to do it, there's plenty more who are eager to join a guild. I've also decided that from now on we'll be known as the Guild of Dungeoneering. Either that or the Guild of the Ivory League of Explorers is stupid. Can't decide which will look better on our letterhead. So where did we go before? Uh, in the let's try. So we can go you know, that one second. Or, or third. Fire Lord. We did Fire Lord last time. Let's do uh let's do goblins. Let's go in with that uh, good old Rito the chump here for our next one. Switch it switch it back up. Hello there, goblin. He's irritable three and he is armed two. That just tells us what kind of cards he has. I don't know off the top of my head what that means. We need to defeat four monsters. That's all All we need to do is defeat four monsters here. That's the whole mission of this first area. So we're going to go straight through there. Works for me. Yeah, that won't work. Hell, maybe we'll put some dang treasure in there. Does that room have a passive in it of some kind? Some of these rooms do have passives. 
Yeah, like this one, for example. Any fight in here, the monsters... What is this? Conceal. Oh, God. I mean, that's fine. But any fight in here, monster gains conceal in the next fight. Not great, but also maybe not that big of a deal. If, I, I, I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of stuff going on here, though, that I don't love. Gold coin, gold coin. Wait, does it lose conceal the second we enter in? It, it Okay, it does. So there's really no risk there involved. Okay, as long as we match him, we get the upper hand in this trade-off because the minus health there. We'll fully block it, because I don't want to discard a card. Though, I guess it's not like any of the cards we have are particularly great. Uh-oh, chump! Oh my god. We actually might die here. Oh, you lucky son of a gun. Rito McGee. Oh! A chump will do, what's that? As a chump, win on a turn, turn that you play cower. Oh my god. Kappa. Fire Blast. Is there any reason to not spec magic? I don't think there's a reason to not spec magic as a, um, as a chump. His cards are bad. Like, that's just the whole thing there. So we have a level three here. I'm a little worried about the layout here. I want to I would kind of like to play one of these level 3s. But if we're not level 3, we're really not going to want to fight them. Uh let's say no for now then. Since we're going to go in here and we're going to fight this uh this rat, maybe we'll be able to put him over here and uh, put some treasure out to make it a little bit more tempting. It's unblockable. We'll definitely go for the fire blast then. Which should put us ahead of the curve already for what where we uh, need to go. We can't block it anyways. It's unblockable. We, we should, theoretically, we should just auto-win this sucker. Lucky hit. There we go. That's our big move. I do like the idea of getting a bunch of level 1s out of the way first. Stupidity up and health up. Uh-oh. Armor up. We would lose the Kappa. Scarf is totally valid. Totally valid. Alright. Uh, I'm kind of liking the idea of just going down to fight the level 2. I can't do anything else. I don't have any treasure. We could have discarded those, those choices to lure my character into a different direction. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm good to send it. This looks spicy. Fury, physical attacks deal one less, one plus, wait, plus damage if they are on half health or less. So we'll do this so he does not, he's not at half health right now. Until we can get him with a big old attack there. Alright. We go for it. As long as he doesn't have a three damage attack, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. He's even taking one. We we're we're gonna we're gonna overkill him even. Get bodied punk. Blade plus two. Uh so we get two the Double physical damage attack. There is one damage. If successful, opponent gains decay for three rounds. Does seem good. Decay is the thing that the zombies had. Let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Again, we got no treasure. We could put this sucker in here. 
Monster gains can steal in the next fight. We only need to defeat one more monster. We could really do anybody. Let's fight a dang Skellington. Though, maybe it's a bad idea. Oh, the next fight. Okay, so not, not this fight right now. The next fight after this room. Okay, what's your deal? Taking three plus damage in one turn causes two extra damage. I don't think we have any way to do that. I'm just buying time here right now until we get something good. Wait, there we go. We do have a way to do three damage. I didn't know we had a move that was, uh, was a self damaging maneuver. Get out of here. Extraordinary overkill. That's like a two damage overkill. Three damage overkill? Something nuts. All right, so we actually were out of here. Well, Good. Now, this Fountain is just Hunter. really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all odds, you're surviving. Next time, I hope you find more danger. We got Fountain Hunter. Draw and Fountain every turn. Huh. Uh, I think that they can be beneficial, but they can also not be. Let's, uh, for the sake of trying one of everything here. Let's get the hug in a bottle. Get the hug in a bottle. Don't need to worry about any of that right now. Okay. Should we go... Should we go for level two here? Hug in a bottle, plus one health for the first two fights. Ah, okay. We're going with Justice Tom. Goblin gear, gear up for a big fight. Steal, steal the treasure to gear up for the big fight. Is there anything other than just go up there and do it? I thought we could, uh... Well, let's... Sure. Goblin or a rat? Which, what's less... I feel like a rat is easier, isn't it? Isn't it? One would think. Throw cat. Here, here it comes. Wow! We have the one extra health for this fight, too, so we really don't have to worry. Heal up. All right. Throw the cat. And row. <laughs> uh, Swift and blade does feel like a good way to go for this character. Sash, Kindle, Swift. Feels like, yeah, Stiletto feels like a good call. Shrine. Who knows, man? Oh my god, I really want to fight the uh, the Scorpion. I want to fight him so bad. I want to fight him so bad, but I think it'd be a bad idea. It should be all good. Blast, blast. Throw a toxin. I guess I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with losing some card from my hand. No big deal. <laughs> I know we could have killed. I know we could have, but we don't need to. Pounce. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Glyph, holy arcane. Eh. Soldiers, how much is get more health? Honestly, sure. With the hat on his head. I love that the hat actually goes on his head right there. I, I really like it. Uh, Fountain of Knowledge. What did we get? Wahapa? Minus two if at a dead end. Is this a dead end?
I feel like I didn't. I just didn't want to. I don't want to fight a level three. Oh, this is a dead end, though. It has to be, right? Well, no, 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 no. A dead end is probably one that just doesn't have any other doors but the one. Ah, so this was the gift of knowledge, I imagine. I'm assuming we can just blast them with a big old row. Uh, so we can just catnip here. And then we slice for kill. This is a level one, right? Because if, if this was a level two, then I'd be like, hey, you know what? Maybe we can fight a level three. All right. Uh, shirt or gloves? I guess I'll take the straight jacket. Do we just... Do we just do it? Let's see, what kind of room is it? Hero gains one health for damage blocked in the next fight. Maybe we actually just do this, and then we set it up for this, uh, this one big fight here. So that's on. So we heal one for every thing in the next fight. Maybe we fight the Ratman. We get ourselves up to level two. Let's do it. And we get the uh, we get the rune this way, and then we get the option to potentially fight a bandit or something. Let, let's do it. Though the healing, I don't know. Maybe it would have been good enough. But putting ourselves at equal level footing seems like a good call. Row. Heal it up. I mean, we're all good. We go for the old slicing. Uh, you're dead. You're double dead. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Bone hip. Look at this. Oh, I wish it was like... I wish it was good. Stupidity plus two. Plus two health. Fate charged. Two. Oh, wait, no. That's just the level. No man. This see, arcane plus two would be good probably if we had other sources of arcane. Do I really? Do I want to go for this? We gain one health and we gain fate charged. We don't have any favor though. I guess I'll skip and I'll get the treasure. Maybe we can lure ourselves, lure ourselves to a different fight of some sort. claustrophobic. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go for it. Let's go. I mean, well, maybe I should be worried about it. But I've decided I'm not. Uh... I mean, I guess we don't want him to discard this cat attack. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, we don't want him to discard that move. Catnip, sure. Same deal here. If he's going to be blocking one, we might as well just super stock up our next. Oh, we have Pounce, though. Let's go. I mean, he's got a nasty attack there, but at least we've got a nasty attack right back that cannot be blocked. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Round for the win. Spear. That looks good. Oh, we lose Stiletto. Bone armor. Arcane plus one and armor or in health plus one. I don't know if I want mind strike. Fl gun. What? Fire two fury. Ga we gain fury. Wait. Oh, that's weird. Physical attacks do plus one damage if you're on half health or less. But these are two magic attacks. That's so weird. And we would lose Stiletto, which is really prominent in our abilities here. I, you know what? Let's get the, let's get the spear. Let's just have a little bit of fun there. Get the favor. Oh, I thought you would want the treasure. Oh, that's better. Well, that's because that's better treasure. I understand. 
that makes sense. It's a level, technically, it's a level four treasure. I've not fought a bear owl. I would not be surprised if they are a. Uh, here you go. If they are a magic dealer. Oh, thank God. Magic damage, if successful, heal to. Fantastic. Okay. It's not a great situation there. We should probably go in on the attack while we know that there's no blocking. Even if it means we are going to round. And then we'll go for shift. Get wrecked! That was nice and easy. Choose some loot. Holy plus two, ferocious. Physical attacks dealing three plus damage get a bonus damage. That is something we could utilize. Warhorn. Holy growth fire. Okay, this feels... This, this is it. Unless we want... I mean, that's good stuff. That's very good stuff. But repel plus tenacious as a passive. Cannot die unless you are on one health at the start of a turn. It's just a nice passive. So we get to steal the treasure. Swift plus... Oh, shoot. We would get fleet footed, which is a swift, unblockable two damage blast. One health. Gain one favor at the start of every battle. I mean, that's really good. That is really good. Oh, uh, we could go all in on aggro. That is very much my jam. I do like going all in on aggro like a big old dummy. Oh, it's, it's irrelevant. Do you have any decency, I wonder? Get agile. Of of Starts Instead with swift one. That's awesome. And rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of... Marauders. What an actually awesome perk here. Absolutely awesome. Uh, we did not get that much money, though. We did not get enough to uh, to expand out anymore. Shall we go in? Let's go in on this. Uh, you got a star up there now. You know what? Fine. Let's do it. What is this here? Oh, crap. It's one of those do-gooders from the Ivory League. I knew I should have been more careful. He's a level four. Okay. That's how it works for me. Kobold or Goblin. I don't know which is... I don't know which is more scary. Strike. NBD, NBD. So we start with one swift, so we get shift. That's pretty fun. It's going to be much easier to round, get up to like le levels that we have not seen before. Of shift. Or of swift. We should have done the other one. Save shift for last. Oh, this is, it's relevant. Also, we have scratch. Block this, nerd! Any swift. There's blade. Blade is... A good call. Big number. What's for second breakfast? Cool. Wait a sec. You're from the Guild of Dungeoneering? Take them out with the trash minions. Take them out with the trash minions? Potentially. I'll fight a skeleton. I think I can handle them. I should be able to handle them. Taking three damage in a turn, so we want to save our two damage blast. So we're going to get a discard. If we get a two damage blast, we'll want to save it for when he does a self-damaging move. Else, just uh, buffing up our attack to do two damage. There we go. So we do the extra. Nice. Blocking. Yeah, I mean, you know, we gotta... You know we gotta. Oh. Uh, we're fine. Shell pounce. That was actually closer than I would have wanted. Spear, swift, plus two. 
I mean, I think we, I really, really, really want to see what's, uh, what's up there. We got up to swift level three, just like that. Scorpion. Scorpion. What is this here? Fountain of Knowledge. Heroes, starting hand size will be increased by two in the next fight. I'll tell you what. Let's put in a level two, and then we'll fight a level our first level three after. With our benefit that we get. So we've got a good solid finisher already. Well, we don't want to risk losing it now. We have Swift. We do have Swift. Bop! Let's see here. Probably want one of these. Either, well... Growth, stupidity... Eh. It's not terrible. I don't know if I want Arcane 2. Like, I actively think I don't want it. I'll gain the Snow Cone for now for the extra health. Hopefully the uh, stupidity does not bite me in the butt. I didn't even get a level 3 fight like I thought I would. Ah. More loot, paw, please. Police. I should put it up here to get the extra rune. Ah. There. Hello. We can't put... We can't fight the... Bandit in the dead end I would want here. But we got to start with extra cards in our hand. Ah. So maybe not the number one best, but it, it's a benefit. It is a benefit. What do we want to do here? I guess we throw cat. Step one, throw cat. Oof. Kind of like a take one damage to do one damage, kind of. It's not. A, I don't love it, but we should be fine. Strike, well, that's helpful. Throw cat. Uh, that's problematic, though. Um, well, rekindle, actually. Rekindle into scratch. Oh, saved our life. Having one magic damage move. I don't know. I think that... Oh, wait. You do two. We're fine. Right? Yes. We're fine. Oh, that was actually really close. We almost lost lost Justice Tom for good. Plus two armor. Or plus two health. Plus one armor. I will probably do that. Feathered cap. Growth plus two. You gain heal, you gain respite. Which is what? What is respite? I'll be real though, I don't see a world where we don't take this right now. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, mean it. I shall fight Owl Bear for treasure. Oh. I mean, we're a higher level than theoretically we should wreck you now. Oh my god, we we do look like we are in a pretty good spot. This is not a good setup, but hey, our health is like we are out uh, outscaling him for sure. Just out of raw damage output there. Okay, we get an extra card. I 
sure. I mean, we, we, we win next time. We have an extra draw, too, if we really wanted it. He has Fury, so he does extra damage when he's under half. Not going to be a problem, though. Sword Blade 2. I mean, I do like the idea of Blade 2 as well. Uh, we don't have a hat. Restore. We get Growth 2. We get Growth 3. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my god, it's so small. Look at the tiniest. It's the tiniest little hat on his dang little head. Oh my god, we can actually absolutely destroy this bandit because he gets claustrophobic as a penalty because we're putting him in a, uh, a dead end here. Oh my god, you poor thing. We're gonna get him in the corner and meow. Oof. Actually, actually a good move for this situation. Uh... Multi-specking does seem to actually be decently valuable. Shoot. I don't want to waste my uh, my gems on drawing here. I don't think we need to worry about it. Blast! Choose some loot. Red mail, no... I don't hate this idea. Yeah, let's go with that. We get we get tenacious as well. I don't know what buff we even got here. Fountain of combustion seems concerning. Fighters gain burn. Fighters, plural. I think we can bring ourselves up towards the fight here. Uh -oh. I feel like I'm pretty satisfied with my care. <sighs> Hello, Noel. So we just get one magic damage per turn. It's honestly not that big a deal. I am curious if this can block it. Did it? Wait. Did it block it? I can't quite tell. I thought for a second that it might have. It's honestly, yeah, it's not that bad. I think we just skipped it. We take some freebie treasure. What's this? Uh, is this a good fountain for us? Hero gains plus two stupidity. It is not. Let's go ahead and just let's just go and do a uh, a Dunzo, a Dunzo Washington. Can we? Okay, so it is there. It's just hidden behind his bulbous dang head. I'm ready for this, baby. Predictable. Top card of the monster's deck is always face up. Ooh, he has uh. I don't know. Hopefully we get lucky and he dis we discard Scratch. Nice. I would consider that to be lucky in this scenario. Ugh. Oh, I, I right-clicked. Oh, heck. Discard Monster's current card. Oh, my God. That's so lucky. His headbutt coming out next. Not the best, but hey. I wanted to make sure we uh, we saved to sabotage that. Oh! I did not realize what you meant. I thought that it meant... I see. I understand now. But at least we can't throw for the win. Ouch, you knocked my teeth out. <laughs> oh, but that's that's the def the thing he says so we get the uh, the treasure. Gotcha. None shall pass dungeon. Courage and brutality, but in the long term, will it outweigh?
a dungeon here's mortality. Oh my. We got, there we go, we got our little goblin teeth. Uh, what was the thing we unlocked? Was it a, the, what was the ice cream cart? It's a freaking dungeon? It's so hot I could scream. You could scream. We all could scream. For ice cream. <laughs> my god. It's a heat wave. This is awful. I'm sitting here in my puddle, puddle of my own sweat. At least I hope it's sweat. There's more than a hint of morgue <laughs> in the air. Some older townsfolk are keeling over from exhaustion and dehydration. Fire demons are running rampant around the outer villages. Worst of all, I can't even get my favorite ice cream. It's so unfair. Why does everything bad happen to me? The ice cream monks are apparently having some troubles of their own. Uh, if I'm going to get my super cherry bubblegum double scoop, I better send a chump to see what's going on. The orb will just have to wait. Alas, that is that. And that's going to do it for episode one here of our new little series or mini series on Guild of Dungeoneering Ultimate Edition. If you want to pick it up for yourself, there's a link at the top of the description. Ultimate Edition will be out, like, within a, a little, like, a week or so, I think. Uh, so, not too far away. Not too far away. Oh. But you can pick up the game now. You can play it. The Ultimate Edition is just going to change a couple a couple things. New classes, new, uh, new cards, new zones. Uh, it was apparently rebuilt from the ground up. I don't know what that means. That sounds impressive. Sounds like a lot of work. Uh, but I can say that the game is very fun. I really do like it a lot. And I'm excited to see what else we've got going for us. If you want to get your name on a, uh, a Dungeoneer, consider supporting over on Patreon. We shall be taking the, the list of names randomly from there with a little bit of a the priority on the, uh, on the wonderful uh, high tier supporters. Thank you very much to Justice Tom here today. But alas, that is that. That is going to do it for Nate. If you like this, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below. It helps out a great deal in keeping this as a series that is running on the channel. And if you are new here, consider subscribing as well so you do not miss a new episode of this. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Roblox more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!